Hi, my name is Krista Tracy, and I'm really excited to be able to tell you all about Babyville Boutique's new monthly iron-ons. There are three different sets in this exciting collection. The first one is the Pirates. There are four monthly iron-ons per sheet, and there are a total of three sheets per pack for months 1 through 12. The next set they have is a really cute gender uh, neutral assortment, and again, there are four iron-ons per sheet three sheets. As you can see, these coordinate perfectly with Babyville Boutique pull and accessories. Now we also have a really adorable little girl set that I just really love and I wanted to show you a couple of onesies that have already been completed so you can see how they look. They're very easy and now I'm going to show you how to do it. I've chosen the Pirate Iron-Ons for my project. One of the things that you're going to do when you open it up is you're going to find that your complete instructions are inside the header. The first step for the Iron-On projects is you're going to prep your garment. To do so, you're going to wash without fabric softener and then dry completely. When your onesie or your shirt is ready to go, you're going to cut apart your Iron-On transfers. Here I have mine already ready. Um, when you iron the transfer on, you need your iron. It's got to be dry, no steam, set to the wool silk setting. When you're ready to iron, I love using the Dritz Pressing Assistant because it's got this wonderful grid on there that really helps me position my onesie in a way that I know I'm going to get my applique or my iron on lined up perfectly. The way I've done this is I have the center of the onesie lined up on a crosshair. I like to put the underarm seam right here in the middle. It really just gives me a nice visual of where I want this to be. I can judge about an inch and a half down from the bottom of the binding and about a half an inch from the crosshairs. And for me, this is my perfect placement. It's really important to remember when you're getting ready to iron your iron-on onto your garment that you press for the full minute. Your iron needs to be on the wool silk setting, no steam, nice and dry. I like to use the timer on my phone to make sure that I am pressing for the full minute to make sure my iron-on properly adheres to my garment. So now we're going to take our iron and we're going to press it right down on top. We're going to start our timer. One of the things that I like to do is just move it around in small, slow circles while I'm firmly pressing. What this does is this helps prevent any scorching of my iron-on and it allows for an even heat distribution so that my iron-on fully adheres to my garment. We're going to do this for a full minute. One of the things that I really like about these iron-ons is how cute they are. They're fun. Um, it's a really great way to make an adorable baby shower gift. You can put one month on you know, every single onesie and um, give a really nice assortment to a friend, coworker, family member, and give them something really nice um, for a baby's first year. These are really good to put on items if you take baby's photo once a month. Um, definitely will never forget how old baby was when that picture was taken. And here we're coming up on our, on our one minute mark. We're still pressing firmly. And once we've reached a minute, we're going to stop our timer. I've ironed my iron on for one minute, and now it's time for the next step. You can just flip your onesie over to complete this step. However, I like to turn, mine one, to turn my onesie inside out and give it the last press on the back side. You're going to smooth out your onesie or your t-shirt. Your iron is still on the wool silk setting, no steam. You're going to press firmly, moving it around a little bit, and you're going to do it for 10 seconds. It's also a good idea to go ahead and use your timer for this and just keep a check on it, moving it around. This finishes the process for adhering your iron on to your garment and ensures a really lovely result. Okay, once we've ironed for 10 seconds, we're going to lift and remove the iron and we're going to let our garment cool down before we move to the next step. Now that our garment and iron-on is cool to the touch, we're ready for the next step. What you're going to want to do is come over to a corner and lift up, placing a finger very firmly at the edge of where the iron-on meets the transfer paper. You are going to slowly peel it back. Now, if you start peeling the transfer backing off and you see that your iron-on is lifting up, push it back down and repeat your ironing process. If it is cleanly releasing from the design, Continue pulling, and there you go. And now you have a beautifully decorated onesie to give as a gift or keep for your child. I hope you really enjoyed our video today showing you how to apply Babyville Boutique's new monthly iron-on labels in the Pirate Collection. 
Let me show you the other really exciting things in this collection for your little pirate. One of my favorites is the brand new pull prints that have come out in the pirate collection. Look how cute that is made up into a diaper. There's an adorable toss print in a pirate treasure map that coordinates perfectly with Babyville's existing fold over elastic and easy adjust tape. There's also new die cut tabs in more fun colors that really go with this collection. Black, blues, browns, just lots of really fun things to coordinate with the line. There's also stay dry wicking fabric in a variety of colors. This pack goes perfectly with the Pirate Collection. The Pirate Collection also comes with new labels and iron-on appliques. Look at how cute these are! Absolutely adorable! Last but not least, probably one of my favorites, new coordinating Pirate Ribbon and Double Ruffle Elastic. These two products are fantastic because not only do they take you beyond baby, you can make hair bows. You can use the ribbon as trim on all kinds of items, placemats, bibs, on pillowcases, any kind of item to decorate baby's room or small child. The double ruffle elastic is wonderful for not only making headbands to put your little clips on for your pirate princess, but also to add a little bit of fun flair to the bottom of t-shirts, around the bottom of sleeves, any other item that you want to to decorate, they coordinate with the ribbon, and it's just a really fun way to add a little pop of color and fun to your baby's wardrobe. I really hope that you enjoy the new Pirate Collection from Babyville as much as I do.